Hello, my name is Amy Bass and I'm a product manager at Docker. Today I'd like to tell you about a new feature we developed for Docker Desktop called Docker Extensions. So let's start with what are Docker Extensions. Docker Extensions are a way for you to take Docker Desktop and extend its core functionality and basically make it pluggable. We've already got you started by integrating with a range of partners to add in capabilities like scanning, debugging, testing, and more. It's also a way for you to take your team's workflows and power them up by integrating them into Docker Desktop and creating some automation around them. If you have a problem you are trying to solve, you can also use our extension marketplace to discover new tools. Lastly, it's a way for you, the community, and our partners to contribute to Docker Desktop. We've opened up our extensions SDK and can't wait to see what's created. Now, the Extensions SDK was built with developers' ease of use in mind. If you are familiar with building images, it shouldn't require a lot of effort. Within the SDK, we've made it possible for you to build extensions using React and TypeScript. We've also enabled hot reloading, so you immediately see your changes reflected in Docker Desktop. With the Docker Material UI theme that we've provided, you can easily replicate Docker's look and feel. We've also included an extension CLI to help with management and validation. And in our documentation, we've included both samples and tutorials to help get you started. Lastly, because Docker extensions are available on all platforms, Windows, Mac, Linux, we've made it possible for you to build for all of them. All right, so let's see how to start using extensions available within Docker Desktop. We wanted to make them easily discoverable, so we've created a marketplace where you can install extensions with a single click. But rather than talking about it, why don't I give you a quick demo? All right, so here we are in Docker Desktop. You'll see on the left-hand navigation, there's a new section called Add Extensions. We can start exploring extensions we've included from our partners by clicking on that button, Add Extensions. If you want to learn more about any specific extension that's available, all you have to do is click on the extension itself and you'll see a detailed explanation. All right, so we're gonna get started installing a few and I'm gonna pick a few of my favorites. So we'll do Disk Usage and Logs Explorer. And see, I just had to singly click the extension to install it. All right. Sorry, I got a little click happy there. Um, so let's start with disk usage. It's a great way to, for, um, to view how your disk space is used, and you can reclaim space in just a few clicks. So let me show you how to do that. All right, so here you can see my local volumes is at about 2 gigs, and I've got about 15 gigs of images. Now, if I wanted to clean any of these up, all I have to do is click reclaim space and select what I wanted to delete and just hit that delete button and it's as simple as that. Now we're gonna move on to Logs Explorer and this is a nice way to be able to access and search your logs across all of your containers. So here we can see I've, I've filtered on all of my containers logs. I can go down to a single container and all I have to do is type in a word. So we'll do start, maybe I'm looking for all start events and that's gonna find everything within that container or all containers that has start in the log itself. So it's as easy as that as well. Lastly, before I leave Docker Desktop, I wanna show you a few other links that we have. So if we go in back into the marketplace, you're gonna see a link up top to give us feedback. We'd really love to hear from you, as well as over here, you can find out how to build your own extension and get access to the SDK documentation, the SDK. All right, now there are plenty more extensions worth checking out, so you might be wondering how to get extensions. It's pretty easy. All you have to do is upgrade to the latest version of Docker Desktop for Mac, Windows, or Linux. Okay, so let's talk about what's next for Docker extensions. First, we'll be adding more extensions. We've already been working with some new partners and are excited to see what the community will create, so check back often to see if new extensions have been added. Second, we plan to improve the marketplace experience for both developers and publishers. We'll be adding the ability to search for extensions, extension categories, and a rating system in the near future. Lastly, we want to hear your ideas for what else we should do. We'll be listening to your feedback ideas from our community Slack channel, in-app feedback, and feedback left on the SDK repo. All right, so wrapping up, here are a few links to resources I mentioned. Thank you so much for joining me and I hope you enjoy the rest of the conference.